Good afternoon and uh, welcome to another adventure. Um, this is, I mean, it's Sunday and uh, we are going to execute part one of our Kansas deer prepping. So heading out to the stand um, that I've hung up right now. It's uh, 9.30 in the morning, so just doing a little afternoon walk out there. I'm gonna pull the hang on that we have out there. I'm gonna pull my trail cameras, um, pull a couple other uh, bow holders, other uh, odds and ends that I have out there so I can bring them back home and pack them up and take them to Kansas. So uh, this is part one of the prep, Kansas prep. Gonna execute part two and stuff uh, later on in the beginning of the week. I gotta go to the grocery store, get some supplies and stuff, and then. Uh, make some food to uh, freeze, meal prep it. Uh, Garrett's already been meal prepping. Uh, you might have already seen some of that and everything. So yeah, uh, I do have the gun with me uh, just in case we're walking out there and we uh, come across a deer or something. Maybe we want to harvest it. So you never know. Um, it's still pretty chilly uh, getting down in the 30s at night and you know mid 50s during the day. So they're still up on their feet, feeding, um, doing pretty good with that. So you never know, we, can co we could come across one. We haven't been out to the stand since Thanksgiving. So it's been a little over a week and a half. And then uh, we haven't even been in this area uh, since last Saturday. So uh, a little over a week. But got my little helper out there with me. She's gonna, she's gonna carry all my stuff back for me. No! Yeah, you are. So, no, it's good to get them out in the woods and everything, and uh, maybe we can, maybe it should be my good luck charm. Maybe we'll sneak in and on a deer. So, wish us luck. Well, we're heading in for uh, part one of our Kansas deer trip. I got my little helper here, <laughs> and uh, we're gonna go pull the uh, the hang on stand and some other odds and ends that I have. We're gonna pull the cameras so we can take everything to Kansas with us. We got a pretty busy week with uh, extracurricular activities and food prep and everything like that for Kansas. So I'm gonna head out here now. Um, it's only 9.30, so 9.45, so. But if we shoot a deer, what are we gonna do? I don't know. <laughs> if we see a deer, we're gonna shoot it. We got the rifle, so maybe we can sneak up on some deer and move in midday, uh, but we'll see. Well, step two of the Kansas prep is uh, in effect. So we're doing a little meal prepping. We got uh, some hamburger soup that we vacuum sealed. And uh, this way we just have to drop it in some boiling water and then pour it out. It's already pre-cooked and everything like that. And we uh, we don't have to uh, dirty up any dishes that we don't need. Another thing I'm trying, and I've never done anything like this really, but uh, I got these bags, snack bags essentially. I got a little pink salmon, uh, almost like tuna pack in there, a little thing of ramen. Uh, some pretzels, Cheez-Its, and uh, some granola bars in there. Uh, little snack bags I can put in my back. That way I don't have to come back to camp at all and uh, make any type of a lunch or anything. I got a little jet boil that I'll have in my bag uh, so I can heat that up. And that way if I'm in the stand uh, or I'm in the ground blind, I can heat up some ramen in the jet boil, get a little warm and, uh, and stuff. I also might throw in a couple pieces of candy that way uh give me some sugar but got my little helper here packing my bags help me uh pack my snacks up uh for the trip so i did forget to add that uh each bag will have either a pack of snack sticks or a pack of the jerky that we made uh, can't forget that put in a lot of hard work on that so can't forget that all right i just got home a little bit ago, got the dog fed. Left work early today so I can get home a little bit earlier. Um, so I'm getting finished on the packing process. Went and hit the store and get some groceries for the uh, trip. Chris is already done with all his stuff. He's way, well more, way more prepared than I am right now. It's been so busy, but uh, yeah. So I got my my pile of goodies. So I'll go through, I'm gonna do a little packing thing later, but got some coffee and some snacks and 
some other stuff. And we have, I've, I've taken some backstrap out of the freezer and some of the broths that we made Thanksgiving weekend. Um, you know, eggs, bacon, sandwich stuff. I got a bunch of sandwich stuff over there too. So yeah, time to get things together. Gonna get on the road bright and early tomorrow morning. Head to Georgia, pick up Chris, and head to Kansas. And then have a really good time. That's the goal. Goal number one, good time. Goal number two, bring back some more meat. I'm recording you. What are you recording me doing? I don't know what you're doing. Oh, you don't know what I'm doing? No, I have no idea what you're doing. I'm getting ready for Kansas. Oh yeah? Yeah. Went to the store, got all my stuff, gonna make some snack stuff. Got some gallon bags. I'm gonna make seven. Yeah, so Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. That's seven days. I'm gonna make seven little packets to take out in the stand, whether we're hunting in a tree stand or hunting in the blind or hunting on the ground or uh, just hungry. Because I like to eat. But uh, we've got some of these little minis. So we've got some leaf ritz, which I probably won't take because I'm not a huge fan of those, but I know some people in this what? house that are. These, however, are super good, little mini toasted ones. They're pretty tasty. So I got some of those. Huge fan of the boring wheat then. So I'll probably take some of those. And who doesn't like cheese nips? So those will go. Now I had to fight my wife for the candy. Are you gonna eat 300 pieces of candy in a week? I don't know, maybe. But we got some dark chocolate, crisp wafers, also known as Kit Kats. We've got Reese's in them, my favorite. And Hershey's, I'm from Hershey area, Pennsylvania. York, also from New York area, Pennsylvania. Some mounds. I've got some trail mix. It's got peanuts, Nestle semi sweet chocolate chunks, raisins, some yogurt flavored covered raisins, milk chocolate covered marshmallows. Oh, I didn't notice that. There's <laughs> milk covered chocolate, or milk chocolate covered marshmallows, and cherry flavored dried cranberries. Cherry flavored dried cranberries. This sounds different. It's a mommy. Pistachios, some Uts, also from Pennsylvania, Pub Mix, and I'm gonna make, I've got some red salmon stuff, that's just emergency food. And I've got uh, the stuff like we talked about already, make some chicken salad, got some manners, so I can have some manners. I've got the snack sticks, some jerky that Chris and I made Thanksgiving. Fall those out, put those in. I got my tortillas, I'm gonna do deli wraps. So I've got some lunch meat in the refrigerator, some cheese, some mayonnaise, some uh, romaine, and make some, make some wraps. All right, well, I guess I better start stuffing these bags. Ooh, I forgot about raisins. Yogurt covered, yogurt flavored, because they're not really yogurt, I guess. I would need a Kit Kat in there, a Reese's in there, a York, rounds, those crazy and wild cherry flavored cranberries. I don't have any cranberry flavored cherries. You're such a dork. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just saying. <laughs> just kind of weird. Cherry flavored cranberries. Why can't you have cranberries? Got my chapstick, Medicaid, so I'm. Sit in the stand and the muggles won't freeze off. Oh, it'll still freeze off, it will be chapped. Can't have that. It won't look good on camera. Gotta have nice lips. Isn't that right? It's important, you know. If I'm gonna be a media star, I gotta look good. Alright. That looks like a pretty good bag. I got a little some chips in there, pistachios, some candy, the raisins, trail mix, pub mix. I'm gonna throw one of those in there. I'll get away from the fallout. I'll put them in the cooler all the way up and then I can 
pull them out of core and throw them in when we head out in the, to the stand. So, I think that's pretty good. Kind of one of the things, Chris is doing the same thing. He's got little bags like this to take out in his pack. Um, kind of use it as a test. It's easy, we got, we're just walking in from the truck, not going real far um, where we're gonna be hunting. But next year we're hoping to do, be able to do a backpack hunt. And if, we, if it works out that we do, this would be a good way to kind of see what we like, see what we don't like. You know, and kind of mess around with it. You know, we'd have to pack things like this for a backpack hunt. So that's a lot of snacks for one day. Maybe for you. And this is like breakfast snacks. And this is like after breakfast snack, after lunch snack, and like after dinner snack. Time to load up. Got a refrigerator full of food. That'll go in cooler tomorrow. Got two coolers. Don't dry stuff in this one because this will be empty of dry food and full of deer meat next week. Come on back up. Got the snack bags that I made earlier. Back in there, got some manners, tortillas, onions. And there's a bunch of uh, stuff in the refrigerator too. Coffee, other things. I got a back strap in the refrigerator. Got my tent, got my sleeping gear in here. All my clothes will go in here. Batteries. Got a headlamps, knives. D rings, videos, emergency poop paper, thermos, or thermos, thermos cells, can paint, boot laces, some locks, you good there. Got a housekeeping box, housekeeping stuff, you know, trash bags, paper towels, lighters, dish soap, all those kinds of things, some bags. Got my cook. Well, got my clothes, my actual hunt clothes, my cold weather hunt clothes. Two cooking boxes. I got a couple other random things in there too, but all my cooking utensils and coffee pot. Can't forget my cast, my cast iron. It's propane. I got my uh, jet boils, thermos, so I can make coffee and the thermos when we come back in the truck. We have some cold or hot coffee, a bunch of paper, got my shotgun ready to go, we're going to try and do some jump shooting with some ducks and geese midday, and then uh, I'll also get my stand, my summit stand, we've got the camp chef, and my Badlands pack, I got a camp chef, explorer, this thing's awesome, I've been using this thing for years. Two burner, big old propane stove. Got my camp kitchen. My table and then a camera box, so already loaded up my bow in the, in the truck. Hopefully I've got enough room for Christmas stuff, otherwise he's riding on the roof. Pack this tomorrow. We have to Christmas. I had to put everything so it wouldn't slide around on the truck drive up, but it's all in there. I think we'll be good. Now I don't really have anything in the front either. We're gonna put some stuff up there. Camera gear, our clothes, that kind of stuff. But yep, yeah, ready to go. I got seven o'clock. 10 hours, we'll be on the road. 
See you in the morning.